Good morning. It's time to change the oil in our Merc Cruiser 5.7, 300 horse, single engine uh, IO. There's been some discussion about how to do it, so while I'm here, I just thought I'd turn the video on so you can see pretty easily what my process is. I have a little pump here. It's a little 12 volt. Um, I think they call it a water pump, but it's a um, Harbor Freight. I just hook a couple of hoses up. One's a discharge to an empty container. The other is a siphon or a suction that I hook right to the dipstick tube. And, uh, and then just make sure the bilge is ventilated properly and then just hook it right on the battery and let it flow. Warm the engine up first so it uh, flows easy and stirs all the, all the junk up in there. And um, have yourself a new oil filter. And uh, we'll change that here in a minute. And uh, while we're doing service, we'll probably do a few other things too. But this is about changing the oil, so shouldn't take more than a few minutes. It pumps really quickly. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and turn the pump on here since I'm kind of an autopilot. So you can see, flows really nicely. And uh, I'll be done here in just a second. So, suck it right out of the dipstick tube through your pump into your empty container. Have at least uh, probably five, four and a half, maybe five quarts of oil with a filter change and um, whatever your blend is. This engine likes uh, fully synthetic, so I'm using an Anzoil product because uh, the Mercruiser stuff is hard to find. So, I guess that's it, man. No more bigger deal than that. Hope you have a great day and uh, enjoy your boat. Okay, we got all the oil out, came out nice. I was surprised at um, how little actually there is in this oil pan. Uh, it took uh, four quarts almost exactly to refill this engine. Want to make sure you don't overfill these 350s because they knock like mad. These lifters do not like having too much oil in that oil pan. Uh, we used the Bosch oil filter. It is a direct replacement for the hyper expensive Mercruiser part and it's actually even a better filter. as a uh, better characteristics and a better check valve in it which is something you want. When you do pull this filter off, you've never done this, make sure you pack rags around the bottom of it. Although it has a check valve in it, as soon as it's vented from outside it will uh, drain all over the place. So it's a nice clean operation. We got her done and uh, four quarts of your favorite blend, preferably something fully synthetic, not a blend, but a fully synthetic oil. And uh, your motor will purr like a kitten. We want to keep her happy. Have a great day. Hope that's a help for you.